Okay, this is my personal learning environment. Um, I created this um, for myself and also for the teachers of the school that I am currently working at, St. Luke's Episcopal School, as you can see. So this is um, a community I built and a page I built uh, for teachers and for myself. So this is the welcome page I made this, which I was pretty happy about because I remembered how to use the emboss tool on Photoshop. So on the home page you have um, a little welcome message and then I have a small RSS feed uh, podcast from NPR Education. Um, and then on the right hand side you can see I have two blog posts. If you go to the navigation, there is, um, within this page, there's a link to other um, educators and their blogs. So I have some of my favorites in here. Um, Tony Vincent's Learning in Hand, um, a lot of paperless classroom uh, pages, um, and just some other pretty popular ones. And then I posted this really great uh, infographic that I found from um, I can't remember if it was from this class or my other class that I was just in, but I really liked it. It's this awesome poster and you can order it, but I also have a link down here that you can download the file. Off the side you have um, my blogs, blog posts. So the first one I did was um, different educational technology podcasts. So, you know, I know that people are busy, they don't have time to read all the time, so I think podcasts are a great way to still... Um, get information um, without having to sit down and read. And then I did another one, which is about Symbaloo, which just sort of introduces people to Symbaloo. And this is the official Symbaloo education. And I embedded this, unfortunately, with Google Sites. It, you're kind of limited in what you can do with these. Um, and it was, I couldn't find a way to make my Symbaloo smaller. So I also put a link to Symbaloo, which would open in a new page. Over on the navigation, you have Bloom's Taxonomy of Technology, made by Kathy Schrock, who I think is amazing, and I just thought that I would share these images with people. Um, also, just as a reminder to myself, you know, we're starting this iPad initiative at the school that I'm working at, and, um, you know, I have to decide what sort of apps I want, so this is something that I think is important to keep in mind. And not only did I use her images of the apps, I also have the different um, Web 2.0 tools that sort of go within Bloom's taxonomy and how, you know, we want to create things, we want students to be creating. I also have a contact page um, for me if I shared this, so people could contact me, email me, call me, and comment. And then lastly, I have the TCEA, which is um, the Texas Educational Technology um, organization and it's their calendar so it has um, some webinars and events and things like that that I'd want to share with people because I know that there are lots of teachers out there that are actually really interested in um, becoming members or wanting to participate in some of the events that they have. Um, I'm Overall I'm pretty happy with the site but I don't really like using this Google Sites. I think that it really limits you on what you can add and how you can arrange things. And I had a really hard time trying to add the RSS feed. I tried so many different RSS feeds, and I just could not embed it. None of them were, were synchronizing. So that was sort of um, one hindrance. Um, if I was going to do this again, I would also, I tried to find a way to have a forum on here as well for teachers who wanted to communicate, ask questions to me, or post things that they did for, with, you know, to share with one another. But uh, Google Sites doesn't support that. But you can comment pretty much on everything. So if I go here, you can comment down here and leave a comment. Um, and that's pretty much it. I think this is a great tool for myself, and it's a really great tool for um, educators, and I'm hoping that maybe I can share it with them, sort of um, shape it up, add more to it, and um, keep expanding my personal learning environment. Thank you.